Hey, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, and just when you thought I did the last permaculture at work video, this happens. Anyway, um, hey, this is the nature, this is what you run into sometimes when you, when you take risky things like doing permaculture at work. You, look, this is in fact a business, you know, this is a construction site, and there you see everything going on behind me. So, you know, I took a risk by doing this, and I knew this was a possibility. But, you know, thankfully, the guy that runs this building, a, a buddy of mine named Jody, he called me up yesterday and basically let me know that they were going to be putting a uh, 40 by 50 concrete pad out here. For what reason, I, it doesn't matter. Thing is, unless I want these trees to be under that concrete, I better do something about it. So, let's talk about what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's a it's really not that big a deal. I mean, I just put these trees in recently. So the good thing for me is I can relocate them easily. So, you know, it's kind of tough when you're working 10 hour days. Um, at least, you know, I, I look on the bright side, at least this didn't happen when I, after I'd already left, you know, I'm sure the guys here would not have just simply let these things get plowed over. But um, the good thing is, hey, I got time to do something about it. And the really cool thing is, is where I'm going to relocate, relocate these trees. So um, check this out. Okay, here we are in the site where I was when I was running the chickens last. Now, what's special about this site, if you'll recall in the previous video, I had mentioned that this ditch, hopefully I can get this here behind me, that ditch there is an accidental swale. I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned it at least in a couple of videos. Now, it's an accidental swale because clearly, if you look at the downspouts, all of the downspouts basically run into that ditch. And then right about there, there's a pipe that goes across the road behind me and it basically dumps it off and the amounts of erosion that are going on over there, just really astonishing. Anyway, this is a possible location I could put those trees. Now, had I been staying in Texas, this entire spot all up and down here, I had every intention of planting trees in it. Well, that's not going to happen, but the problem is the solution. The problem, well, in so many different ways, but in this particular case, this problem of this swale, which for a building like this, it's kind of a problem. The reason this ditch should not at all be perfectly level. It should have a slight to do what they had it designed to do. It should actually be going downhill and then going to that, but and going to that um, downspout or, or whatever that spout is that goes across the road. Well, it doesn't do that. Well, I can use that to my favor. So what I can do is plant the trees here and create a bulkhead of sorts where in certain portions of this, I can get it to actually hold water and still at the same time do what they intended as far as get the water away from the building, not have it sit up here. I could take small portions, which I, I'm i thinking about doing that. I'm actually thinking about doing that very thing where I can make a bulkhead where it'll it'll hold that water in certain sections and I'll hopefully show you how I'm going to do that. So the real trick is at this point is I'm like a week out before I'm before I'm done here and uh, we're working pretty much 10 and 12 hour days. So I'm going to have to sneak down here at lunch and on breaks and stuff and see if I can get this knocked out. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I can. I'm reasonably sure I can. I could even enlist, enlist some help, but I really hate messing with these guys when they're on the breaks. Um, so this is one possibility. The other possibility is I could just take them from where they are and situate them in front of the uh, swales that are not going to be disturbed, that are not going to be covered in concrete. So that's a possibility too. I'm going to think about it, but I'm leaning toward this area here where I can use that ditch, that ditch behind me where you see it darker. I can absolutely use portions of it as a swale and still use it to do the very function that they had it doing before. So I'm going to think about that for a moment and we'll just see what I decide. Well, sorry I couldn't get more footage, but I basically had to do this uh, this little move 
in between breaks and lunch and stuff like that. So today's Sunday and it took it took roughly Saturday and Sunday to get them moved. Well, I elected to put them out here where the other swales initially were. Now that I know the layout of where that concrete pad is gonna be, which is basically right there, that swale right there in the distance. That's essentially where that pad's gonna be and you can see where they brought power over to it. I'm not disappointed, I mean, you know, I would have been disappointed had I already left and then I find out later on they were plowed over, but even that was unlikely. Um, the people here would have, would have done something about it. So I elected again to put them over on this side and I didn't put a swale in front. I, um, and the primary reasons for that are, well, right behind me, they decided to put in a water spigot. <laughs> there wasn't one there when I put all the rest of this stuff in, but all of a sudden there is one. So the people that look after this, you know, for their benefit, I'm like, okay, well, in permaculture, we put everything in zones, right? Well, instead of having trees on this side of the shop and then completely on the other side of the shop, it would just make a, it, these people are already doing things that they didn't necessarily volunteer for to begin with. So it just makes good sense to try to keep things more consolidated and in one spot. And so, as you can see behind me, this is where they ended up. Pulled them out of there, didn't have time to build to dig another swale. Um, so essentially you have two rows of trees there. Same, same deal, nitrogen fixer, and then two productive trees, another nitrogen fixer, and more productive trees. So I'm glad this is done. I'm, I'm glad I'm to the point where I can actually kind of take a breather now because I am exhausted. So um, anyway, I better, I better get going here before I become too repetitive. But anyway, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm. We'll see you next time.